Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn a simple algorithm to find the smallest number in an array. So I've set up a class here. The class is called find smallest, and I've set up a main method. And right here, I've just created an array called an array, and I've put some random values in here. If you want to learn more about how arrays work, check out the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, what we see the numbers range from negative 3 all the way up to 10, but they're not ordered in any way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. We'll call it smallest. And since this is an array of ints, we're going to make the smallest variable an int 2. If this were another data type, you'd make the smallest variable that data type also. Now we're going to start by setting it equal to index 0. Because we don't know what the smallest is at the beginning, so we'll start by saying the smallest is whatever is at the very beginning. So we'll say an array index 0. So now this line of code will set smallest equal to negative 2. Now what we've got to do is we've got to traverse the array and see if we can find anything smaller. So this is a for loop. We'll start int i at 0. We're going to continue as long as i is less than an array dot length. There's no open and close parentheses after length here. And then we'll end by incrementing it at the end of each iteration of the loop. Let's put an open and close brackets here to show where the loop begins and ends. Now what we need to do is we're going to check each index. So we're going to say if an array index i. So i is going to start out at 0, and then it's going to go up to 1, 2, 3, and it's going to keep going as long as i is less than the length. Now if what's ever in an array index i, if that value is less than the smallest, then we're going to set the smallest equal to an array index i. And then it's going to keep going through looking for a smaller one. If it finds a smaller one, it makes smallest that smaller one, and it keeps looking till it gets to the end of the array. Now, at the end of this for loop, our smallest variable is going to equal whatever the smallest value is in this array. In this array, it'll be negative 3. So just to prove that, we're going to say system out print line smallest. And then we're going to run this program and see it'll output negative 3. And there we go. It outputted negative 3 because that was the smallest. And if we wanted, we could make you know a smaller number. We could say, like, change this to negative 10. And now when we run it, it'll output negative 10. So that's how we find the smallest number in an array in Java. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.